Hello everybody, and uh, thank you again for checking in on my Patreon pro 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 progress. Um, this week, uh, I have a bunch of work to report. Uh, but first of all, I want to thank the pa patrons that have si signed up so quick quickly um, to help me um, with the production of Inkscape. Um, I'm very pleased to see that there is interest in um, making sure that the the um, that my work with Inkscape can continue, but also that uh, user issues get the focus that they deserve. Um, and with that, if there are any issues that you, my Patreons, want me to focus on, uh, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to have a, an extra sp special fo focus on whatever it is that you want. Um, because at the end of the day, the reason why I want to do this kind of pa Patreon work is not because it's easy. Um, you know, there are there are lots of easier ways that I could earn money by going to a big client, but it's because I believe that users need to be given the, the opportunity to interact with developers productively, economically, and tell us what we need to do for them, right? For you, because service to users is what will make Inkscape better, right? Delivering what users need and what users demand is ultimately what is going to make Inkscape a really good project. Um, not necessarily just what developers want and certainly not what um, large co co corporations want, which is why I need your help. If you're a Patreon or you're thinking about being a pa from Patreon, I need your help to spread, spread the word Tell everybody that uh, I'm interested in getting more users on board with helping fund Inkscape development through through my work. Uh, to check out my updates and uh, subscribe and make sure you know keep up to date with what I'm up to. Uh, okay, so what what have we been up been up to this week? So the week started with doing the the last day of the six week hack fest. This is a um, a number of um, six hour long uh, periods in time where we got together in a video chat called Big Blue Button. Lots of Inkscape contributors got, got together and we had a talk about different kinds of issues. Um, this week we did uh, bug tra tracking and triaging um, and I have to say that the um, uh, Nathan and, and um, Joseph that took the, the, the lead did a really good job in in sort of um, demonstrating exactly why a, a a a bug and issue team is really valuable, you know, separate from developers and designers and other sort of contributors. People who do that work, um, as thankless as it is, is uh, is very important for, for the project. And it felt really good to be able to discuss uh, all of the. The detail I issues about how things should be categorized, how people should respond to um, new contributors who come 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 on board. Um, so I just want to thank everybody who who was a part of that pro pro project, and I, and I want to thank everybody who contributed to to, to the Hackfest overall because I think it was a really good, um, long, hard work, but really good pro project. And I'm ho hopeful that we can do something like it again because. Something t tells me that there's, there's a separate value to, to be having these online video-based uh, com conferences where we had pe people contributing who would never really be, be able to come to a physical event. Um, so af after that, uh, there was a small update to the website. I improved the, the activation review. This is where uh, people will e e email the, the webmaster, that's me, and I'll go through uh, and and respond to them by by email, and a lot of this means going to the web website, checking on their accounts, um, activating them if they're not active, and then guiding them through if they need a pa password reset or there's some other issue. Sometimes it's just a ma matter of telling users that they they don't actually need a user account in order to da download Inkscape. They can do that without one. So sometimes I just delete the accounts. Um, but the website was being a bit opaque about which accounts were active and which weren't, so I put in an update to make that job e easier. Um, this week we had about 74 um, people who contacted me as the webmaster to ask for my help in, um, 
for all sorts of things, uh, mostly because their activation e e emails had, hadn't come through. Um, so thankfully, though, I got a number of responses. I, I really do like it when they respond to me and they and they thank me. Um, you know, it's about ten percent, twenty percent that respond and, and and say thanks, which is which is always good good to hear. It's also good to know that the uh, they, they did log in. They did actually successfully do whatever that they needed to do. Um, so I started the actual like work proper this week, um, doing a uh, a small improve, improve improvement to the snaps. Uh, caffeinated otter on Twitter. Um, when I when I ask different tw Twitter users, you know, what what is it about Inkscape that you think we could improve? A lot of the time, pe people will come back and give grand very large very impossible things to to, to improve which is great because it you know it makes me aware of the fact that these things are are in demand multiple pages cmyk that sort of thing uh but sometimes somebody will come along and say hey there's this one relatively small thing and uh in this case it was the fact that they couldn't assign keyboard short shortcuts to switch on and off different uh snapping tools uh, this is because the way snapping was implemented, it did not use the same system for actions as everything else. So with a bit of refactoring, I put together a patch that uh, allowed for, basically, basically it made all of the snapping actions the same as all other kinds of actions. And um, which also means that you can change the snapping via the command line if you're into that thing. Um, Unfortunately, the the patch got held in review. So while I did I did get it successfully completed, and I even delivered to have caffeinated otter a screenshot showing an animated screenshot showing me changing the uh, keyboard short shortcuts and everything. The problem is is that the way actions are done in Inkscape is um, is being refactored in in total, and so now I have to make a decision about whether I want to uh, push forwards with getting that small, relatively small change in. Or whether I want to hold off. Uh, it, my sense right now is that I might want to push it in because I don't see the refactoring for actions happening sooner r rather than l later. And even if they do, the fact that the snaps are now in a in a regulated form that all other actions are in might be a benefit. But we'll see. Um, Dashi reported an error in the DXF input. Uh, DXF is a machining CNC um, format for basic shaping. It's for when you send it to a machine and it like cuts stuff out. Um, there was there were some positional problems. Uh, it's a Python script. I went in and I freaked out because the script is awful. And so instead of fixing the problem, I um, refactored the code. So I spent hours just basically walking through the code, cleaning it up, using best practices, rem removing code that didn't need to work anymore, making sure that it still did the same thing that it did before, but clean cleaning it up. Um, this puts the script in a much better place now so that uh, fixes can be found. And I'm hoping that a, an expert in DXF formatting will be found and they'll look at this refactored code and find it a lot easier to get into and they'll be able to contribute a, p a patch what's known as an expert patch where they know the domain much better than I do but I know how to make Python really pretty uh, so hopefully I put it in, a, in into a better state um, so my apologies to Dashi that I wasn't actually able to fix the specific issue because uh, I, speci I, I think it's a domain issue but we'll, we'll see um, so we, sa we sank up the extensions for the uh, 1.0.1 .1 bug fix release. This is, uh, we want to get a bug fix release relatively soon. Uh, we need to make sure that all of the fixes that are available in extensions are back port ported so that people who are still using 1.0 don't have to wait years until they get fi fixes. Um, there's a bunch of uh, coding that needed to happen because we need to support Python 2 in the old branches. Uh, and some of that has been stripped away out of the new new ones. So, uh, but f thankfully, the vast majority of fixes have been sunk up, and and now um, when that bug fix release happens, it should have all the fi fixes that have so far gone in. Um, the bulk of my work this week went into um, 
remove so what it, what happened is as I removed the the extensions editor this like really old creaky in fact broken dialogue out of Inkscape uh, which what it did is it listed all, all, all the extensions um, that were installed and because I'm working on the the uh, extensions manager itself I removed this in, in internal function in order to replace it with this Python based uh, extensions m manager uh, hopefully I'm going to throw up a uh, a screen capture so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so when I removed that, one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to add back in the functionality. So in the extensions manager itself, I've added in a set of fun functionalities where you can basically click on a package and you can actually press more information and it will pop up a win window and it will tell you all of the um, Extend all of the extensions that are actually inside that package because a package can actually have more than one extension inside side of it. Uh, the core extensions have hundreds, but a tip, typical extension will have one, um, maybe ten, you know, maximally. Say, say, if, say if it's from one of these sets like Skr or, or uh, the, the the web tools, so they'll, they'll have several tools in there. Uh, the ultimate aim there is to be able to install pack packages of extensions. Uh, uninstall packages of extensions, uh, disable and enable the ones that you want so that you can have a clean, refined set of extensions that you know that you use uh, to give you more control and information about the stuff. I, I also made sure that there was links to the developers um, so that if you're a developer of an extension and they, you're going to the extensions manager, you'll be able to see the information for like how to go to your GitLab or GitHub site and contribute to your code or like just say thank you or whatever's required there. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do with the extensions manager. Um, one of the things that I didn't complete but I worked pretty hard on is trying to make the uh, trying to make Inkscape refresh the extensions menu when you uh, install new packages. You see the problem is is that if you install new packages currently you have to close Inkscape completely, like not just the extensions manager, but close Inkscape itself, and then relaunch Inkscape in order to refresh them. Uh, and that is terrible user experience. Um, so I also want to make sure that this user experience is s as smooth as possible. Like I don't want a half-assed implementation where people installing extensions so suddenly go like where is my extension because I know I'm going to get flooded with messages asking and support are going to get messages and people are going to be asking all of the time I installed this thing I can't find it uh, and it's absolutely valid right you, you when you install something it should be visible to you straight away um, but this does mean on picking an awful lot of stuff this gets back to the actions problem actually in that uh, extensions are kind of like this mash of pseudo actions that need to be refactored or not refactored or dealt with but there's there's a lot of old code to, to go through and uh, a lot of consistency to maintain because we need to make sure that the, the extensions when you click on them are valid they don't crash Inkscape um, they are the um, and to make sure that like when you run the extensions manager it can tell Inkscape itself when it, when it returns to run the refresh protocols. Um, so I'm going to continue on with that next week. I'm going to see if I can continue cleaning up the verbs, making sure that the, the extensions manager can do the job it's supposed to. Um, I'm probably going to continue work, working on uh, making sure that installing packages and re removing packages can still work. I know that there's a lot of work to do in making sure that that can happen on Windows. Um, and that can happen on uh, in things like snaps and app images. If you're a Windows user, it's very important. Let me know because I don't know if all, if uh, if my patrons are using specific operating systems, and I want to make sure that you, as as my patrons, are are the people who I'm trying to focus on. Um, so thank you very much again for your help, and um, I'll see you next week. <laughs>